right. Hey YouTube, how's it going? I'm sorry for the week delay or the 10 days it's been or whatever since my last video. Uh, but I'm here to give you an update. Uh, I waited till today because I just found out that thankfully the other driver, the driver that hit me has actually has car insurance, thankfully. So I was speaking to an attorney until then and I really didn't want to make a video um, until I knew exactly what was going on and you know I didn't want to say anything or put up a video that you know I, I didn't know where I didn't know where the process was going so I was just trying to keep it safe um, but here's the deal car is definitely totaled um, I found out about I want to say a week ago last Monday today is Monday the the like 11th or something I, I don't know I don't even know what day it is um, so cars total, just found out the other guy does have insurance, so I don't have to pay my deductible or anything, which I only had a $200 deductible anyway, so it wouldn't have been that bad, but, um, I just wanted to give you something to think about. One, if you do not have gap insurance, get it. Um, you know, everybody, you know, their, their car, everyone's cars are different. I don't know how you got your loan or whatever. Um. You know, if if you don't have GAP, what GAP is is if you if your car gets totaled and the insurance company only gives you um, if your insurance company only gives you the cash value, which we'll get into that in a minute. If they only give you the cash value for your car, but you still owe more, if you have GAP insurance, they'll they'll cover the difference, so you won't have to owe anything. So you so you're in the clear. Uh, for me, I owed because I put down a pretty decent size. Uh, deposit for my car so they my insurance company went ahead and paid off my loan because no matter what my loan was less than what they were gonna give me so I'm gonna come out on top now here's where it starts getting tricky there's a difference between market value or fair market value or however you want to say it and actual cash value and for me that, that really sucked because right now in today's market or at least around me there are, for a WRX Limited, uh, either hatch or sedan, uh, they're so rare and they are going for around $30,000. Now, I had an appraiser come out and look at my car and I'm actually um, not necessarily fighting, but uh, I'm kind of questioning my insurance and I haven't accepted any, any values yet until I spoke with my attorney because they, um, they say my car's cash value is around twenty-five to twenty-six thousand bucks, which leaves me with a four thousand dollar difference to come up with if I want to buy a car that was like mine. Now, this is partially my fault because I have just a regular, you know, kind of insurance policy. I have really good insurance, but I did not check the box of replacement value, and that is my second thing right now to check if I were you on your insurance policy if they cover replacement cost of your car. For me, I don't have it, you know, really nothing I can do about it, which sucks. But, I mean, like I said, I have, I'm, I'm still in the plus, I'm still getting a little bit of money back from the from the thing. Not nearly as much as money as I put down on my deductible, but anyway, that, that just sucks. So right now I'm on my way to, uh, to see an orthopedic doctor person. Um, I'm having a little bit of, problems with my left shoulder uh, I went to a chiropractor apparently in Ohio if you're when you're involved in an accident um, I don't know if it has to be your fault or not your fault but you're entitled to a free consultation with a doctor so I got a phone call the other day one of many um, saying that hey it's my you know it's your right to go to and get checked out and it's a free consultation so I took that I took up that offer um, a lot of people are, are calling on behalf of an attorney or on behalf of an insurance company and the people that I went ahead and went through they are not part of any sort of attorney or law office or anything they're just um, at least that's what they said they said that their their job the reason they get paid every day is to call people and let them know that they're entitled to go see a chiropractor or something like that so I went to a chiropractor he checked me out I honestly feel okay um, a little bit of pain in my back but I told him I was noticing a little bit of pain in my shoulder. So he, he said, 
a common problem or a common thing when an accident is a torn rotator cuff and from the seat belt. And I was wearing my seat belt, so he told me his advice would be to talk to an attorney, which I already had been, and uh, since be cut only because the guy didn't have car insurance, um, or so we thought, and talk to an attorney and get with him about you know X Y Z. So uh, I talked to my attorney. He said, uh, you know, that is a common problem, but a rotator cuff is something that can cause a lot of problems down the road if not treated properly. So he said to go ahead and schedule an appointment or make an appointment with uh, with an orthopedic surgeon or you know some somebody in that specialty field. So I did that, so I'm on my way there right now. Um, also, <clears throat> ooh, a voice crack, puberty, I hope so. Um, also, I have a, I'm have a little bit in a debate, like I said earlier, about my the actual cash value of my car. Um, my insurance claim people are, it's, it's a joke. I mean, they've issued three or four claims already, claims reports. The first report they put in my car, they couldn't get the mileage of the car because the driver's side was so smashed. And on, w, on my Model WRX, that's the only uh, key port access was the driver's side door. And because the door got smashed open, my battery died. So they, so the adjuster wasn't able to go get the, uh, go get the the mileage. But even when he didn't have the mileage, he uh, he still was able to write off my car as a total loss just from what he saw, regardless if my regardless of the mileage. So when I went to pick up my personal stuff, we just had one of the mechanics just pry open the door, and I could reach in and and, and uh, unlock it. But so his first claim adjustment, he valued the car at about five thousand dollars less than what the claim is right now because he didn't have the mileage. And I was like irate because that was ten grand less than what I had just bought the car for. So I called them and he's like, "Oh, okay, you know, well, not him personally, but um, somebody through my insurance." So I called them and they're like, "Oh, let's put in the mileage, blah blah blah." and they came up with a value and I didn't think that value was fair either. So I called them again and I said, you know, look, I have all these receipts. Like two days before the accident, I had the windows tinted. I had uh, paint protection done at the dealership for a thousand bucks three months or four months ago when I bought the car. And they said, uh, them and I also told my attorney this and they agreed that you know, that's not something that they cover since I don't have replacement costs, since I don't have, you know, gap or I didn't tell them about it when I got the insurance, you know, whatever. So that kind of sucks, but you know what, when when you buy your parts and you put them on and you mod your car, you know you're gonna take a hit on that regardless when you go to sell it or whatever. So that's fine, but what wasn't fine was I have, or I had um, $1,500 worth of dealer installed options on my car. I had the SPT exhaust, the Homelink mirror, um, uh, all weather floor mats and some other goodies like wheel locks and stuff like that and so I said hey I you know these are a couple of things that I that I want to add that you don't have listed on your report so the weekend goes by and I call them today and they get back with me and they say okay well we now have a value that's two thousand dollars less than what we originally quoted you. And it took everything in me not just to freak out right there on the phone. Cause I, I was like, listen, you just told me yesterday, you just told me on Friday, my car was worth X amount of dollars. And then I call you and give you $1,500 worth of upgrades. And you're telling me it's worth $2,000 less because of that. And they put me on hold for about 15 minutes. They figured it out. You know what the what they ended up doing was not putting in any other option. They only put in the ten options that I had. So my claim had, you know, instead of leather seats, had cloth seats. I had all the base interior, all the base everything for just a base WRX with no options except for the ones I listed. So they got that taken care of, and it raised my the fifteen hundred dollars worth of equipment raised their price by two hundred dollars. 
So I'm still kind of debating with them. So thanks for watching, guys. You know, I got my got my Hakuna Matata shirt on now. You know, no worries. Everything's gonna work itself out, hopefully. So thanks for watching, and I will try to keep you guys updated in the next couple of days. And hopefully, I'll be putting in my order soon for the 2016. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you.